In today's video, we're going to be discussing Athem's Javelin classes, the Ranger. We'll be looking at their abilities on how they would contribute to the character in the open world of Anthem. Anthem is the most anticipated game of 2019, an upcoming online multiplayer action world game being developed by Bioware and published by EA. We as players assume the role of freelancers, a group of people who lead their civilization to explore the surrounding landscapes of the open world. There are four Javelin classes that will be available when the game launches, but today we will be focused on the Ranger, the first class that players will have access to. The Ranger has a complete, unique moveset and most well-rounded Javelin class in the game. Rangers can have any weapon in the game, but not heavy weapons, only Colossus. We're going to address the Ranger's different capabilities to use in enemies in Anthem. The Ranger's mobility is called Shock Mace, which the Ranger is able to engage in close range combat with the use of this Titan Electrified Stick. When it jolts the enemy, it will electrocute them. The Ranger's first gear slot is Grenade Gear. It's notably straightforward, but all depends on the type of grenade that the Ranger equips. Frag grenades deals impressive damage in large areas of effect. Inferno grenades ignites an area and deals damage in sitting enemies in blazing. Frost grenade deals damage and frees enemies in place. Secret grenade splits into smaller sub munition which seek out nearest enemies. Sticky grenades attach to a single target for contained high damage blasts. The second ranger ability is called an assault gear. The wrist mount launcher allows a variety of molecules to be loaded on the extra bursts of firepower. Homemade missile fires a projectile that seeks out target for a small area of effects and explosion. Energy pulse unleashed a burst of pure energy, hitting a single target with an incredible force. Spark beam fires a sustained beam of energy for continuous damage. Venom dark launched a volley of darks that seeks out the target for an acid damage and Blast Missile fires a missile that explodes for areas of effect damage. The Bow Rat Point deploys a spiritful field which deflects incoming enemy projectiles. The Monster Point creates a field which increases weapon damage for teammates who enter the radius. The ability has been changed to increase weapon damage instead. And Javelin Combat relies on superior mobility and firepower to take down any threat in the open world. The multi-target missile battery lancer can deploy a special ultimate ability that displays the true strength of their exosuit. Dealing praise damage across the wide wrath of the battlefield, the ranger's multitasking battery allows it to target many fast-moving enemies with a guided projectiles. By looking at all the different skill sets and the capabilities with the ranger, I feel it's more going towards like a combat style type of gameplay player. If you're one of those people, your game style is mostly like combat. If you're playing like a Call of Duty game or how I put it in this sense, more like a Warframe or Destiny player, like the Titan, you're more like a combat type of player. You're more technical in every situation and you're more like a defender. That's how I see the Ranger in most cases. I feel like it's a more like a defender type of game style and more technical, more like a soldier type of game style. This is your first uh, uh, Javelin that you're going to be using in the game. So I feel like this is might be something like a starter pack to get you kind of get started. Now, I don't know if there's any other cases where you can make multiple characters like how it is in Destiny. You can make multiple characters and try out. But this is going to be the first uh, Javelin that you're going to be coming across. Judging by some of the trailers and gameplay, that's the only Javelin that they're pretty much showing throughout every time they're discussing something. That is the first Javelin or Warframe, you want to call it, that you see in most gameplays. They do have other Warframes if you guys want to discuss, but we'll go discuss those in another video. But I want to more focus on each each character at, at a time instead of putting one in on video, one video. So we have the Colossus, that's a more like a heavy approach, I said. And the Storm is mostly like if you're a person that likes to like to electrify your enemies. So that might be a best fitting for you. But I feel like the Ranger is more like sharpen your skill sets, more like a marksmanship type of uh, combat style. 
and more like a leader if you want to put it in that sense like you're the leader of the pack that's how i see like the ranger some that say it's a good standard for combat efficiency so it must be really good for combat style players so like i said if you're mostly like a combat style player this might be the best one for you but if you're more like a person who does a lot of heaviness like heavy kills or just like go in there with fast abilities there's many other ones that we're going to discuss next time in the video but like i said i feel like the ranger is more like a combat style type of enemy and very tactical for many in his situation if you guys look at the grenade abilities you know that's a more like a tactical style and then he has two support systems to kind of help him out now i feel like this game will give you a little a little bit more ability to your um, to your character's ability. I think you're going to be using a little bit more and give you a little bit more opportunities to use them. I feel like that game is kind of right for that direction. Other games gives you that type of ability, but don't really extend the branch for more technical situation in most gameplays. That's how I feel about Anthem when they're doing each of these javelins or exosuits or Warframe, some people like to call them. I feel like they're giving them a more branch out capability for every situation and that's pretty cool that every javelins has different capabilities and different skill sets that kind of help you out in every situation anthem launches on february 22nd 2019 for xbox one ps4 and pc early access begins on the february 15th for ea access members on the next video, we will get a closer look at the Colossus capabilities. If you'd like to see more Anthem updates, let me know in the comment section down below. Share today's video and remember to hit the subscribe box and the bell icon for notification on my next video. See you again next time. Thank you for watching.